Hey guys, Malcolm here Survival Know How. This video is part of a five part collaborative series I'm doing with survivalpedia.com where I'm demonstrating five survival hacks that could save your life. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a very effective minnow trap using nothing more than a two liter bottle and some cordage. Stay tuned. The sad truth, guys, is that no matter where you go in the world, you can't escape trash, right? No matter how far into the woods or what remote island you're on, you're going to find plastic, you're going to find trash. But sometimes you can use that to your advantage as we are going to do today with uh, the two liter bottle. So the hack that we're showing you today, we're going to be using a two liter bottle. I think it's the most effective, but you can actually use one of the smaller bottles or you can even use one of the giant uh, water jugs. You know, really any kind of plastic bottle that you can find, you could probably turn it into a pretty effective minnow trap. So for this hack, you're going to need a water bottle, some twine, and a pocket knife. So the first step is you want to find where this curve stops and it starts going straight like this. And you want to cut probably about an inch down below where it starts going straight. So you have a little bit of the straight part on the top. So we're going to start right about here. So now we're left with two pieces, the top and the bottom. What you want to do is place the top inside the bottom like this. So you can already kind of see this trap forming. And how this is going to work is that the fish are going to be able to swim inside of here, but they're not going to be able to find the only exit out, which is the bottle top there, and they're not going to be able to escape. So the next step is that we want to puncture a hole inside both the top and the bottom so we can run some twine in there to secure this top to the bottom. So I'm going to be doing this by making just a simple X in this so as you can see, I just cut a simple X through here so I can run some twine in order to attach this to the bottom. And I'm going to do the same on this bottom piece. So now that we have an X cut out in the top and the bottom, we want to line up these two X's like this. And now we have to run some of our cord through there. So now we have the cordage running through both the top and the bottom on both sides like this. Now you just tie the knots off. Now one of these you can make really tight, but you want to leave one of them um, easily undone, right? So maybe tie it like you were tying your shoe so that you can undo it in order to take this top off to get access to the bottom, to get access to the fish or to place bait. All right, so that is the finished build. So now you can place some kind of bait in here if you have any, and maybe some bread or some fish guts, and the fish will swim in through this top hole here and once they get inside, they're not going to be able to find their way out, and they're pretty much going to be trapped in here. And if you want to get access to the fish, all you need to do is untie your knot up here. And then you can take your top off and have access to all your fish or uh, access to your bait. Probably the most important thing I want you guys to take away from this is really just this concept, right? Of allowing the fish a way to swim in, but making it very difficult for them to swim back out, right? The same concept is used in commercial grade crab traps, lobster traps, fish traps. And if you've ever actually in a real survival situation, you can reproduce this entire trap by weaving a basket, or if you find some wire mesh somewhere, you could create a similar trap just like this. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Uh, don't forget to check out the other four videos in this five-part collaborative series that I'm doing with Survivopedia.